Hey guys, it is Izzy and today we're going to be doing a review on the all Bluetooth Sony WH-CH510. These Sony headphones, they are Bluetooth and they actually don't have any headphone jack so if you'd like to use it um, wired, it actually isn't available and I've actually tried using a USB Type-C to uh, Thunderbolt cable. I tried to connect it to my iPhone but unfortunately it did not work so that is kind of the, one of the downsides to the headphone but some good things is that this is fully wireless so no wires hanging around on either ear ear and it actually can I'm pretty sure um, battery life can sustain for I think 16 hours I think it's a day 16 hours to a day I'm pretty sure so these are really nice and I got them for around 69 Australian dollars so getting going to like your local electronics stores you can find these you can connect multiple devices devices to this one headphone so it actually stores all the devices which is really nice compared to like other headphones where you have to disconnect um, it from one device and then connect it to another device so that is really just helpful when it comes to uh, just switching like devices and trying to use headphones on multiple devices. I know the biggest thing that a lot of people are wondering is is it comfortable? So generally having these for maybe less than less than three hours so between like one to one to two one to three hours these feel pretty nice like if you put them on they're really light and they have these soft cushioning here as you guys can see and it so if i put it on top of my head really nice it does get a bit sweaty when doing exercise so if you're wearing these um whilst exercising it is going to get a bit sweaty and hot around your ears so that's one thing to keep in mind when uh, thinking about to purchase these headphones. These headphones aren't obviously compared to the XM4's comfortability. It's it's not the best, like definitely not the best. XM4's re like they really clean these headphones um, out the park. But generalizing of people who have like budget, uh, these headphones aren't too bad for comfortability and audio really is nice. As you can hear, a lot of the basses and the vocals and just a lot of the the, the sound quality is definitely there. It is definitely there for um, headphones under under 100 bucks. The sound quality is definitely there for what it is. Just to keep in mind, these actually don't have noise cancel. Oh God, please no, no! And so when buying it, keep in mind that you don't actually get noise cancellation on these headphones compared to like the XM4s um, where they have the noise cancellations. Now it's just turned into a, I guess, a comparison between the XM4s because I've just, they're really nice headphones and I have a friend who has the XM4s which are totally really good, like really, really good. So I am showing you guys the port and the button. So as you guys can see, there is a USB Type-C which is always good to good to see in our headphones and you can see there is the mic on the right hand side of the usb type c there's actually a built-in mic and there is the forward backwards button and there's actually a power button which is used to pair your device or turn it on so pairing it to different devices you use that power button the one in the middle to pair the devices if you did enjoy today's quick review please hit the like button and please subscribe as i'll be really appreciated and i will catch you in my uh, next video see you